questions? Or... Congratulations. Thank you very much. How's it feel? Well, tired. <laughs> destroyed, my body is destroyed now. But uh, no, it's, I'm pretty happy for the result, you know. Jerzy is a great player. He was top 20 already, you know, so he has a big game, big shots. And uh, I was just, uh, uh, I was just, uh, I just focused on my game, you know, on my, my, my games with the, when I was serving, because on his serve I had no really chances. That's what I felt, you know. And uh, the thing was just to wait patiently, you know, until the end of the match and to see if he's give me chance or not, and uh, he gave me chance. And, I'm, I, I, won the, I didn't start good, but I finished strong. So how much of an impact was fatigue in this match? Obviously, you know you played the earlier match yesterday, and you also you know, didn't play Isner, and, and you know, only had to play the first set against Harris. You mean what is the question again, please? Uh, you know, how, how did you feel as the match went on, fatigue-wise? Uh, you know, how did you feel, especially in the second and third set? Um, second set, I was really down. You know, if he break me, it's gonna be maybe two sets, uh, six, six, three, six, two, maybe because I was really struggling with the hot. Was really strong and uh, I was under the pressure. He was playing pretty strong, but then uh, I think uh, he was a little bit physically down. He was going a little bit down, so it helps me. It helps me, you know, if I see his battle language. So it gave me, gave me power, and uh, then I was stronger. Uh, but. Um, Third set, I, I found uh, the second, uh, you know, uh, the uh, the power. I found the power in the third set, and uh, it helps me to to survive this match and uh, to win. Was, was, was part of that power though? You kept telling yourself, "I've played less matches than he has. No. If I can just grind it out, he's eventually going to." Of course, it helps the players that, that if they have a little bit less less matches, like uh, other seeded players on the Grand Slams, or they have, uh, you know. Uh, yeah, of course you save the power, of course, because uh, the matches, the matches. Uh, Yeri, Yeri has uh, pretty tough matches. I think three, three, three sets matches, I, I guess. And uh, yeah, well, I saved a little bit power, and uh, maybe, maybe uh, I had a little advantage uh, against him uh, because he played the late match yesterday, and uh, I finished a little bit earlier. You're, you ended it with a match with an ace on match point. Have you ever done that before in a top three set or a tennis tournament this level? Ended on a match with, a, with an ace? Yes, I finish. I think, yes. You mean if I finish the tournament this level of this tournament yeah, with the ace? This one. Uh, you mean in the final? Yeah, in a final. Well, you just won all the finals. So you didn't, you didn't do that in Bucharest. This is my second final, yeah, and uh, second t title. And I'm not sure if I finish with the. With the with but the Garcia Lopez in the... How is it yeah, it's the great. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Well, uh, I just wanted to put the first serve, you know, that was important for me, and uh, against tr second serve. But when I when I was already 40, 15, I, I, uh, I knew that uh, I just have to play solid that moment, you know. I don't need to try for some big shots, you know, to risk, but uh, just to put two, three balls in, and uh, it's going to be fine. <laughs> The turning point was that tenth game of the third set. Jersey had gotten a couple of break points on you, and you yeah. were able to come back, save out, save save set, and then break him the next game. Well, he had Did you sense things were shifting at that point? He had them two match points in the previous game yeah. when I, when I break him. Yeah, it changed. Of course, you don't make it, then you then you get broken. You know that's sometimes it's like this mm -hmm. in the tennis. I, I I know this. You know, if you have a chance, you don't do it. You don't you don't take the chance, then you get broken. That's how it is. You know, you sense momentum, because you, you, sense you mentally start. down. You know, you in the moment you will, if you don't make it, you mentally down, and then you, then you think about it. Oh, it was already over, you know, and uh, he didn't make it. So then uh, he was maybe thinking more to, about this, and uh, he was a little bit uh, not, uh, uh, not good uh, together with the legs and head. You know. Talk about your will to win because you just refuse to lose with a couple of championship points against you. Say again, please. Could you talk about your will to win today? It's like you refuse to lose. Uh, well, uh, yeah. Uh, this first final this year in Bucharest, uh, I, I lost to Dimitrov, and he was really strong for me. You know, he was playing unbelievable tennis, and that match, you know, I I said, uh, okay, good final for me. Next match, next match when I play uh, Stuttgart, uh, uh, there was a car also for uh, first place, and uh, I really like cars, you know, and it was really nice uh, motivation uh, also, and uh, I lost three sets. I said it's not gonna happen three three times, you know, you know, in the row, and I just really wanted to have a title this year, and uh, 
Well, I thought it's gonna happen now, but uh, I knew it's gonna be a really tough match against Jerzy, you know, because he big serve and uh, fantastic uh, fast game from the baseline uh, is his weapon. So you said, you know, when you're up 6-5, 40-15, you didn't have to do anything too crazy, you just play steady? No, you just have to put the first serve and not wait, like, to put the balls in, but uh, you don't need to risk really, you know. He ne he needs to do something. You just need to play solid in that moment. That's important for. Did that's what I'm th th thinking. Did you have that same idea though when you're down low forty at several you know different junctures in the match? I was just uh, same thing. You need just you need to play solid. If he if he makes a big shot, he's a champion, you know. If he if he miss, if he's a little bit you know um, too much worry about uh, what's gonna happen, you know, probably he was. In, the, in that moment, uh, when he was for love on uh, my serve, and uh, actually when he had uh, two match points, yeah. So, well, yeah. I, I in that moment, I just wanted to play solid. Along with winning, which was great, but talk a little bit about your overall overall experience for the week in Winston Salem. How did you enjoy yourself here in the tournament here in the city? Well, when I when I come here, it was the uh, first tournament on the hard, you know. And before I play only uh, clay court tournaments, and uh, it's always really, really, really tough to change the surfaces. And uh, in the practice, how I already said, I didn't. The, in the practice before the tournament, I didn't win one set in the practice. I was really struggling and see if uh, I just don't want to play first round here and first time uh, first round uh, next week, next week in the uh, U.S. Open. So uh, I didn't expect it. But after. Well, first win against Harrison, you know, I didn't expect it as at all, you know, so then when he retired, then I play, then I fight uh, with Andukar, you know, I was also down 1-7. Uh, and then uh, Slava said, no, it's not, not going to finish yet, you're going to win this week here, you know, and uh, then I, now I, every match I was winning, so I was thinking, yeah, maybe he's right, you know. Uh, yeah, at what, at what point in the week did you say, hey, things are opening up pretty good for me? Um, there was no time like this. There was no day. No, I was, just, I was just trying to be ready, to be maximally good prepared for every match, you know. And uh, as uh, my uh, my uh, friends, uh, they always wrote me uh, the the like uh, how to say the the messages with uh, you know to helping me to to giving me power, you know. That they was they were saying me every every uh, single point, you know. You have to be focused, focused, you know. And that was that, that's what I did. Uh, this will move you up to 27. Yes. Uh, so you've almost caught slap. Yeah, almost. Do you have a <laughs> running back or tell us a little no, bit? There is no, no, there is no bad, but my point was... Uh, uh, my point, uh, you know, of course I want to be 25 at least, you know, but um, if it's not going to happen this this season, I hope it's going to happen the next or next next. But this is not uh, finished yet, you know, if, if I'm going to be 25, I'm going to be even higher, you know, always you want to be higher as you can. And I just try to find the, the my limits. Next question. Well, it's actually a two-part question. How long does it take to recover from a match like this mentally and physically, and what are your plans for the next two or three days? Um, well, today we travel. Uh, I try to have a little bit stretching, massage, you know, the cool down to see uh, how my body feels, but uh, of course tomorrow I will feel it, so I just have a little bit practice uh, with Slava, 45 minutes. I'm not sure if I'm going to play Monday or Tuesday the match, depends. Uh, I try to be ready, you know, try to more recover because I play really a lot this week, uh, even if I have two matches uh, retired or walk over, you know, so anyway, uh, yeah, well, uh, it's uh, different if you win or lose all of the match. For your body, mentally, you know, if you lose this match, you destroy too much, two times more. Was that the hottest maybe you've ever played? Hardest this tournament, this tournament, yes. It was the hottest. Yeah, really. hardest for what, me. What would be the second? Against Lou. Against Lou was three sets, and uh, last time I played against him, I lost six three six two, so never won a set against him, and uh, now it was payback for him. <laughs> no, actually, it's. Uh, Great uh, being every round here, you know. So I'm pretty happy for this result, and um, well, pretty happy. Thanks, everyone. Can we expect you back next year? Well, it.